Are you confused about the blank pages between pages in a document? And you only press the backspace key repeatedly to delete them, and you fail sometimes. So how can we delete blank pages quickly? Here, I'll introduce three methods to you. Tips. Before deleting the blank pages, we can show paragraph marks first to know why these blank pages were generated. Head to the Home tab, click the Show Hide Editing Marks drop-down button, and check Show Hide Paragraph Marks. 1. Delete paragraph marks manually. In general, the blank pages are caused by numerous paragraph marks that we input carelessly, so we need to delete all of these paragraph marks manually. Or we can head to the Home tab, click Word Type Setting, click Delete, and click Delete Blank Paragraph. Note that this method will delete all the blank paragraphs in the document, and we can choose this feature according to individual needs. 2. Delete paragraph marks with Find and Replace function. Sometimes the blank pages or paragraphs are caused by page break or next page section break. In addition, to delete them manually, we can also use the Find and Replace function to delete them quickly. Since we checked Show Hide Paragraph Marks, we can see the causes of the blank pages directly. For example, this blank page is caused by a page break. Click the Home tab, click the Find and Replace drop-down button, and select Replace to pop up a dialog. Its shortcut key is Control h Click the Find What text box, click the Special drop-down button, and select Manual Page Break. We can leave the Replace with Area Blank and click Replace All to pop up a dialog. Then click OK. Now all the blank pages caused by page break are deleted. Similarly, we can delete the next page section break following the same steps. Select Section Break in the Special drop-down button and click Replace All. 3. Adjust the line spacing and margin. Now we come to this document that contains a blank page, and we cannot delete it by pressing the backspace key. That's because the space below the table is too little to hold the paragraph mark on the same page. At this point, two methods are available. Option 1. To reduce the line spacing of the line where the paragraph mark lies, click the Home tab, click the Line Spacing drop-down button, and select More to pop up a dialog. In the Spacing tab, Click the Line Spacing drop-down button and choose Exactly to reduce the argument. For example, we set 0.7. Option 2. To reduce the margin, click the Page Layout tab. Click the Margins drop-down button and select the built-in option Narrow. Or click Custom Margins to pop up the dialog, then reduce the bottom margin. What a practical function! Did you get it?